Hello my beauty family, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, hi, my name is Victoria and I'm here to share with you my passion about makeup and skincare. So if you still haven't joined my family, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will be notified about my future videos. Also follow me on Instagram and I have a TikTok account with the same user. Oh guys, I'm so excited! Today's video is so special for me. I was waiting for this launch for so long. Happy, 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 happy. <laughs> and the launch that got me so excited is NARS Power Matte Long Lasting Lipstick that retails for $34. Oh my god, guys, I'm telling you, I got few of them. And over here in this small baby bag from Sephora, I have around $250. <sighs> so I was kind of in between, should I order this from Sephora or from NARS? Then I started noticing that when I'm actually, you know, thinking about this, the colors are just disappearing. Some of the colors are literally sold out from NARS and from Sephora, but I was able to get them. So guys, I'm so excited. Today we're going to check out those six beautiful colors. I'm going to show you how they look. And I think at the end of the video, I actually will tell you how they were throughout the day, just because I'm going to go to work. And I wanted to create some really neutral look, so all the colors would go with this look. So we'll choose one color and I'm going to wear this throughout the day. And at the end of the video, just like always, I'm going to let you know, guys, how everything was wearing throughout the day. All pros and cons. So stay with me if you want to know how those new lipstick from NARS were wearing and do they actually worth $34. If you're thinking about buying those lipsticks, you need to know that on the NARS official side, they do have 15 colors. On Sephora side, you have just 12. And I got half of them. Those are the best colors, literally. Some of them weren't in a store. Some of them I just felt like were not my cup of tea. But I'm excited about those six. And hopefully, guys, you will love those too. I'm holding here some colors that are already sold out online. So I'm excited to actually get a hold of them and show you guys how they look on the lips. So reviews on Sephora side are just amazing. But I will never believe the reviews until I will not try those. And I'm going to tell you guys one thing. When I was watching them on my hand, I will add this picture somewhere here. I was in the middle of swatching those colors. They weren't gliding on so smoothly, so I'm kind of concerned a little bit considering I spent so much money, but let's hope everything will work out because the packaging is just stunning. Look at those guys. The colors are stunning. The packaging is just out of this world. So the thing is, I noticed that now it's kind of trendy to release lipstick that's going to be like tall, skinny lipstick, Gucci, YSL, Hourglass, Armani, and uh, I know even Say launched lipsticks like that. So the packaging is really, is really nice. It's really modern. I do like the way those lipsticks look. It's more like modern version of a bullet lipstick. I like it. You're getting here in this lipstick 1.5 grams, which is not bad. And the shelf life is going to be six months. It's a vegan formula. It has soft matte finish. Supposed to be wearing for up to 10 hours without smudging, budging, and you know, disappearing. So they say that this lipstick has power pigment complex that supposedly has really, really rich colors combined with color locking ingredients that's supposed to hold this lip color and lip pigment basically on your lips for up to 10 hours. Pretty impressive. So guys, let's not talk too much. Let me swatch those lipsticks. Let me show you how they look on my lips. I lost all my tan, so you'll see how those lipsticks look on really pale lips that hopefully will help you to see the true color. So I want to start from one of my all-time favorite colors from NARS. And I'm sure, guys, if you're watching my videos, you definitely know this color. This is Dragon Girl that sold out already. So this is beautiful, vivid, siren red color. And it's already gone from NARS official site and from Sephora as well. At least at the day when I'm filming this, it's not available online anymore. So if you'll want to pick up this color, you'll need to wait a little bit, but I'm sure they will put this bag on side because it's a really beautiful color. So I did prep my lips and I'm ready to go. So 
So this is the first color. I jumped right into swatching red color that I really, really like. And I don't know, guys, was it a good idea or no? But what I really, really like is the pigment. It's really buildable formula. It's really lightweight on the lips. It definitely made my lips look just crazy, really, really full. Excuse my lines, but... We're here to check the color, right? It does look really pretty. It does feel really lightweight. I really like it. I like the color, like the pigment. So far, it's kind of like settling. I feel like it's kind of like setting itself. I can feel it kind of like, you know, doing its job. Sometimes you feel like lipstick is setting while you're applying this. So at first it was a little bit tacky, but it's gonna go away because, you know, formula has to set. Yeah, guys, so what do you think? How do you like this color? This color is sold out, but I'm sure it's gonna be available soon. So, yep, that's the first color, Dragon Girl. This color definitely makes your teeth whiter and uh, I like it. Who doesn't like it? So I'm gonna wipe this color and we're gonna check the next one. It definitely stains your lips a little bit and it's hard to get rid of this lipstick so I'm assuming it's gonna be long wearing. The next color I want to check it's gonna be... Let's check American Woman. So this color stole my heart because I like dusty pink colors. I think they are extremely flattering for my skin tone so I'm excited to check this out and let's see how this one's gonna look on our lips. My poor lips are gonna be on fire. Oh my guys, this is like literally perfect nude color for me. I really, really like it. I'm obsessed with this color. The thing is about this lipstick, it makes your lips so damn full, like you have fillers or something. Like, can you tell that my lips got fuller? Like, I'm not overlining like crazy, but it's just the pigment and the fact like this is such a beautiful, like almost airbrushed finish. It's so weird to say it about the lipstick, but I mean, how you can explain this beautiful soft matte finish? It doesn't go on so chalky and, you know, not easy even like I was watching them on my hand, for some reason it gave me a really bad impression, but still I got this because I wanted to give it a shot. I just, I was obsessed with the way they look and I just couldn't keep myself from not buying them. And I'm so happy I actually tried those. I mean, this color, it's my obsession. I love it. I think that's a beautiful color. If you have skin tone that's close to mine, here's your perfect, perfect, beautiful nude. <laughs> So I'm gonna grab a paper towel and let's see how transfer resistant this lipstick is. Nothing. This specific color feels even thinner on the lips. I really like it. It dried out even faster for some reason. I don't know, maybe because of the color, because of the pigment, but I really like this color. You can tell, guys, I'm just obsessed with this color. I think it's a perfect nude color. So let's check out what else we have here. The next color I wanna check called Tease Me. This one is pretty similar to previous one. This one is rose pink. Again, so just stunning color. They are slightly similar if you will look at the colors, but there is a difference. So let's check out this Tease Me color. This one is way rosier and it has more pigment. It has like brighter pigment, if it makes sense. Good thing I got few of them because it's so hard for me to choose the favorite one. They all look so good so far. I do think that one of the colors I picked may look not as flattering for me. That one is a deep berry color, but we're gonna get to that point. So far, this one is pretty. I think I can see myself reaching for this color as well. So here's the color that's called Tease Me. The next color I want to check called Highway to Hell. This is beautiful, rich berry color. That's the point when we're going to check how this deep berry color is going to look on my lips and, you know, with my pale skin. But I'm so excited. I used to love deep berry colors. And honestly, it does look really promising for me. My lips got some pigment. There is so much stuff going on on my lips. But I think they are ready for another color. Do you see what's going on? Mm, I don't know. I don't know what the f 
that was. I don't know guys what to tell you. I do truly like this color, but the way how patchy it is, ah, damn, I like this color. It looks so good in the camera. But I want you to take a look at my lips. They are so uneven. There is, I mean, ignore the lines, obviously, but I mean, look how patchy they are. This is crazy. This color, I don't know about that. I need to give it a second shot. Maybe I need to hydrate my lips, like really deeply hydrate, because the pigment here is really crazy. So I need to give it a second shot. guys so this is officially the first color i had issues with i hope the next two colors will look beautiful because i really want them to look beautiful i kind of would like to see those colors in my collection so let me wipe my lips and let's check out another color the next color i picked up called notorious this one is a red orange color i'm obsessed with this color so let's apply this and let's see how this red orange color will look on my lips So I feel like red colors in this collection make your lips really, really blurred, which is just pretty as hell. Love it. I love this color. It's definitely a unique type of red. It's not a true red color, but I do really, really like it. It doesn't look patchy again. Even though my lips are dry now, it doesn't look patchy. That must be that color. Something up with that color. I'm so upset. It was such a beautiful berry color. But look at this one. This one looks amazing. If you're into like red, orange colors, this does have a little bit of blue hint to this. So it's gonna help you to make your smile so beautiful. I love it. I must say this color looks really flattering for my skin tone and I would definitely leave this one on with this golden eye look. I think everything looks so gorgeous but we do have one more color that honestly I liked too based on this watch on my hand. So let's give it a shot. So the last color I have called no angel this is beautiful soft brown pink this may be a good nude color too and honestly guys based on this eye look i did like previous color that we applied but let's hope this one's gonna be the best one because i'm gonna leave this one for a day and i'm gonna come back to you at the end of the day to tell my final thoughts about those products about those new lipsticks from nars and how they were throughout the day Here's the last color. Honestly, I have mixed feelings about this color, but I'm gonna leave this one on my lips. Everything that you saw on my lips, it wasn't done properly. You would need to line your lips to make everything look beautiful, perfect, so you can make it work even better, except with that highway to hell color. But I'm gonna give it another shot. Yeah, so here's the last color that's called No Angel. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go to work. I'm gonna come back to you in about 10 hours. Actually 10 hours, that's a good shot because it claims to stay in the lips up to 10 hours. So let's see how true it is. I'll see you in a moment, but for me it's gonna be about 10 hours and let's see how good the wear test is gonna go. Okay guys, so I'm back and it's been 11 and a half hours since I'm wearing this lipstick and I had to reapply this and I have a lot of things to tell you about how was the wear test going so let's get to this first of all i want to mention that this lipstick is not a very comfy after a few hours you kind of starting to feel it on your lips it's not quite dryness but it just you feel it it's getting heavier your lips needs more hydration which is pretty normal with a matte lipstick i didn't feel like this is really a revolutionary formula but i did really like it i was touching up this all the time after my lunch break after you know i had some snacks I always needed some touch-ups. It's transfer resistant though. So if you're drinking water or you're touching something or you're kissing, your lipstick will be on your lips unless it will just disappear. I did really like the color. Is it my favorite color? Probably not. I do feel like American Woman was one of my favorites and 
I'm obsessed with this color. Highway to Hell was the color that made me a little frustrated, but I do like the color by itself, so I'm gonna give it a second shot. This lipstick in general is really creamy, it's really easy to use, it gives you almost like blurred lip at first. If you're planning wearing this lipstick for the whole day, make sure you're having this in your purse because you'll need to reapply this. If you want your lips to look blurred, to look beautiful, fresh, and to have that moment when you're touching something, you're drinking your water and there is nothing on a glass or there is no stains on anything else, that may be a good choice for you. I did enjoy those lipsticks in general. Uh, do I think they worth $34? I'm not sure, guys. I'm really spoiled with lipsticks and, you know, matte formulas are kind of tricky for me. I do like good matte formulas and I feel like, honestly, when I was wearing Gwen Stefani, her brand give. It just, it didn't dry out my lips as much as this one, but it just, you know, to compare those two. But in general, I don't feel like my lips were a disaster. $34, guys, think about this. I showed you the colors, I told you what I think about those. I think it's a little bit pricier, but, you know, NARS is not a cheap brand, it's one of the high-end brands, so, you know, if you're willing to splurge, there is the good option for you. Soft matte finish, transfer proof, last up to 10 hours. You'll need to reapply this, but it's a beautiful soft matte finish. Six months shelf life. It does give you 1.5 grams of the product. Packaging is just, you're gonna be obsessed with the packaging and the way it looks. Color payoff is amazing, glides on smoothly, really, really nice, really creamy. But the color story was so pretty that, you know, I'm gonna be rooting for them. I definitely see myself rooting for those colors and, you know, giving another chance to this highway to hell color. And you guys, that's pretty much it for today. I had such a crazy day at work, so I can't wait to wash my face and go to sleep. I have to wake up tomorrow at 5. But the thing is, I really would love to know your opinion, guys. What was your favorite color? Are you thinking about picking up those lipsticks? How do you feel about this launch? What are your overall thoughts about this? And do you like lip products from NARS in general? I'd love to know your opinion, guys. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you still haven't. I will be really happy to have you guys in my YouTube family. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell because I don't post my videos every Wednesday and Saturday anymore. So if you want to know when my next video will be on, definitely hit that notification bell. And yeah, thank you for staying with me today. I will see you all guys in my next video. Love you all very much. Bye!